We have the Defense Secretary Ash Carter in Brussels convening leaders there tomorrow, including Arab states, asking them to do more. They say that we need more U.S. leadership, that we should commit U.S. ground troops. Should we commit U.S. ground troops? Well, you know, Syria is a whole different thing. And you look at what's happening. I, I view ISIS as very important. And I love the fact that Russia is hitting ISIS. And as far as I'm concerned, they've got to continue to hit but ISIS. But you know what and, Russia is doing you know in Syria? Different. Russia is hitting, no, they're hitting the both. groups that we're backing. Sure. And why are we backing the group? We don't even know who those people are. I speak to generals. They're saying we're giving billions of dollars of equipment to people we have no... Here we go again. Yeah. We're but, giving all of this money and all of this equipment to people we have no idea who they are. They're probably worse than Assad. I mean, I'm, Assad's no baby. He's not good. But... Who are the people that we're backing? Here we go you again know with that's, Libya. That's President Obama's argument. Yeah. Well, I we think don't that's know good. Who the weapons you know, would I mean, fall into whose hands? We have no idea. Well, why is he doing that? I mean, he's giving them a lot of weaponry, and we're backing people that want to knock out Assad. Russia and Iran, which is now a power, we've made mm -hmm. them a power. They're backing Assad. We've got to get rid of ISIS. We've got to get rid of the people that but are chopping off everybody's but head. You say you have have a good relationship with Putin or would have a good relationship? I think with I would have a very good relationship, but, but who knows? So I mean, could you know. convince Putin to get Assad to step aside? Well, they've been trying to do that. Yeah. Could I? I don't think it's that important, to be honest with you. I think, frankly, let's say you get rid of Assad or you knock out that government. Who's going to take over? The people that were backing and then you're going to have, like, Libya, mm -hmm. right? You, you take Gaddafi. Oh, we have to get rid of Gaddafi. Look what happened after we got rid of Gaddafi. Look what happened so after we got rid of Gaddafi. So getting rid of Gaddafi was a mistake. It was just, it, yeah. It was, to me, it was, it was a, a total mistake. mistake. I mean, you, you, Benghazi. Benghazi was the least. Look, look at what's going on over there. It's a mess. Nobody knows anything about anything. You look at you look at Saddam Hussein. We get rid of Saddam Hussein. The terrorists, it's the Harvard so of So getting rid of Gaddafi and getting rid of Saddam Hussein were both mistakes. Had we not done anything, had our politicians gone to the beach and enjoyed the sun, we would be in a lot better position than we are right now. Saddam Hussein, no good guy, but Saddam Hussein killed terrorists. Now Iraq is the Harvard of terror. You want to become a terrorist, go to Iraq. They'll teach you how, okay? Mm -hmm. Saddam Hussein was a bad guy, but you know one other thing he did he blocked Iran I mean once you once you knocked out that section all of us and I said it in 2003 2004 I was against the war I said you're going to have total it, the Middle East is going to be a mess They used to fight forever. They couldn't move they go 10 feet one way 10 feet the other now you have a total destabilization in the Middle East because we knocked out one of the blocks. Well,